Although, it's just a buzz. But did you know there are hidden fun facts for us to discover? There are so many facts regarding our public buses, and it's interesting and knowledgeable to learn. Feeling TTIF? If you say yes, then this is Fun Fact Friday! In this is episode of Fun Fact Friday, then we discovered a rather interesting fun fact that was mentioned by one of our Discord members. And we shall say, this electric bus model is the luckiest of all. However, there are two electric bus models and DME shall pick one of them instead. As we all know by now, DLT will conduct a trial for the prototype and demonstrator buses first before proceeding with the production batch. These buses will get picked based on commuters feedback driving performance, engineering layout, and interior scheme. There's Yutong and Linker, and something is interesting about these Linker buses. The LTA picked Linker as the 20 of 60 electric buses during the first phase. Linker is the first bus model in Singapore as a Panto Golf electric bus. We wouldn't expect the LTA to proceed with the production batch. As for the two other bus models, BYDK9 had gone on trial with Goa in Singapore in 2016, and Yutong based on the quality and performance. The Linker's actual demonstrator is the Stobo Linker NF Series 12 by ST Engineering. The design layout is based on a prototype scheme, and it was later under research and development of RD Plate as an understudy vehicle for the LTA, ST Engineering, and relevant authorities and agencies. So, why was there a trial that the LTA conducted for the public revenue service? Unlike any other bus, regardless of electric, diesel, or hybrid, the Petrograph charging must be built with overhead charging equipment. And talking about the cost to build the power supply unit and other electric related equipment, it will be a waste for the LTA to dismantle it once the trial has ended. Even if the LTA didn't remove all the equipments, it will be very ugly for the overhead charging equipment to leave it as it is for no purpose after the trial. Therefore, LTA and ST Engineering conducted a study and research with the Stobo Linker as a test bed before proceeding with purchasing on the production model. And do know that the 20 units of Linker LM312F are not the exact bus as Stobo Linker due to modification for the prototype bus. And now you are wondering, why Bedok and Bukit Panjang? It sounds random for Bedok, and the ME has lesser info on it. However, the purpose of Bukit Panjang is to deal with service 920 operates on Volvo B5LH. With Linker around the neighbourhood, the emission standard was reduced for a healthy and quiet ride. Also, talking about hills is a challenge, but worth testing the quality and performance of the Linker. Sounds interesting, isn't it? What else do you want to know more about these funny looking buses? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and do leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe.